Let's move into the second game. Same time, same day, December 29th, 11 a.m. This one's on ABC in Charlotte, North Carolina. It, it seems like it should be like a rivalry, kind of. Virginia and South Carolina. I mean, they're pretty close to each other. You well, got one state in between them. That's but kind like, of a large state between them. So, what, was South Carolina in the ACC before they joined the SEC? I don't remember. You're asking, you're asking questions <laughs> that I have no idea about. Both teams 7-5 and five this year. Virginia 8-4 and four against the spread. South Carolina went 7-5 and five against the spread as well as their overall record. Um, end of the season, South Carolina 3-1 and one against the spread in their last four. Virginia 1-3 and three against the spread in their last four. The opening line was South Carolina minus 6.5 and, and the over-under 54.5. The over-under has stayed the same, 54.5. South Carolina, however... It fell all the way down to four. Now it's back up to five and a half. So a lot of different movement. Yeah, a lot of movement on this one. A lot of lot of money coming in on Virginia, and then I think Sharps came in and, and bought it back up for South Carolina. Debo Samuel not playing in this game. Yeah, that's that's tough. That's uh, that's real tough. I don't know what to make of this team without him. Like they, I think I think he made. A, they played a lot of the season last year without him. Yeah, they and played then, a, they, you know they've played a lot of games without him. While he is a monster. Yeah. And I highly agree with him not playing in this game. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's this is not injury. This is no, NFL. No, yeah. That, go get paid. Go, go, do, go, go get Go do money. what you went to college to go do. So, it, it, trust me, if I had to play Virginia in the Boke Bowl, I would I'd probably sit out that one as well. I'd sit out any of them. You remember, How long ago was it when Arkansas played in the Boke Bowl? And, you know, they've so one of their bowl gifts was like a $450 shopping spree to Belk in Charlotte. And there was an Arkansas player that had his four hundred fifty dollar shopping spree, but he like stole stuff and was like putting it in his pants. He got arrested and like had to sit out the game. Like he was stealing stuff from a store that's giving you four hundred fifty dollars in free stuff. Well, he wanted more than four fifty worth. That is insane to me. Like get one of your boys to get you another T shirt. Like hey, it, you don't have everything on your four fifty. Like toss me this shirt. Toss me this thing because you can get all kind of stuff at Belk. You can get, like, CD players. and Anyway, Boke's cool. South like Carolina's going to still win this game. I I agree with you. Metrics have South Carolina minus 6.46. Uh, they've got the total at 55, so it's right on the number. I do like South Carolina here. Um, I, I don't think the ACC is very good, and Virginia looked like crap the last, like, three or four games of the year. Uh, I don't think there's a lot of motivation for them. I do think Will Muschamp is going to be fired up. Now, is is there a more fun coaching matchup than Bronco Mendenhall against Will Muschamp? They're quite a bit different. They uh, very different and still the same. <laughs> I don't know. They are both. <laughs> Nobody's like, matched the intensity of Muschamp. No, but Nobody. but Bronco is close, man. Uh, yeah, I guess you're right. Maybe he is. I don't know. That you're, it's going to be fun. Muschamp is always fun to watch on the sidelines in a bowl game. You know he they they take this stuff seriously. Yeah. I know he like does. They take it very seriously. That's why I like them to cover the game. That's, it I, matters more to him. I agree with you. It's South Carolina minus five and a half. I'm going what, under. That's, I'm doing the same thing. I, I think both these teams, both these guys are kind of known for their defenses. Yeah. You got a couple extra weeks to prepare. You, you're going to be good at what you do. Yeah, I think I think you're probably right. Um, and it's two and offenses I, that I, like – with without Jake Bentley's not, best weapon, not like, hard to scheme for. Like if you're just putting a game plan together, neither one of these offenses are complex. They're not a lot of misdirection and and things that normally take a lot of extra practice time to figure out. Yeah, they're not running a triple option. They're not running any gimmicks. They're kind of straight standard pro style offenses. Now you're right. Spread them out a little bit, but so yeah. both going South Carolina, both going under fifty four and a half. Yep. 